Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be um, using my N Plein Air Pro watercolor easel. Um, this is the advanced watercolor easel, which means that it comes with the palette. Um, somebody asked me to show them how well it works in a seated position. So today I am going to be sitting and um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see my legs here, but I was able to set this up so that I can fit my legs comfortably underneath the easel and I can still work. Um, now, this is the tray that I was saying the other day that I like to keep off of the easel because it brings me closer. I'm going to put it on so that you can see the difference in how close I can come here. It um, definitely, let me take this off the easel here, or off the tripod, it definitely takes me away another... Oh, probably four to five inches from the easel, which means that I have to reach farther forward. And this might not be a problem for most people, but because I have a bad back, it really causes a lot of pain if I do that. So I take this off and just set it aside. And then I can sit, excuse me, I can sit very close to the easel. I have my legs right underneath here. And um, I have my water right here. And then my easel right here. And my elbow is still bent um, when, I, when I need to work. So anyway, that is what I'm gonna be doing today. And the thing I'm gonna be working on today is something that was requested by a friend of mine um, who, asked me to draw a lighthouse from Marquette, Michigan. It's called the Bay, Big Bay Lighthouse, I believe. Uh, if I'm wrong, I apologize. I did a quick pencil sketch of it. Um, I'm just doing this today in my sketchbook just to get an idea of the work involved. Um, and then I will do his sketch. But um, I've got to do the pen work. And then I'll be doing the, um, whoops, hang on a second, I gotta lift this up. So now I'm just gonna grab a um, pen and I'm gonna start doing the ink work on here before I get painting. Uh, today I'm just gonna work with a Micron uh, Unipin Fine Line. This is a 0 0.4 millimeter and I'll be using this just to get my line work in. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and you can watch me uh, complete the watching the way some other people put their bricks in on their on their buildings and I've decided I really like this style where it's just kind of very lightly insinuated you know but not every line is there I mean you see it all the way down unlike the way I was doing that that I didn't really like the way that looked and I'm liking this much better it takes a little bit longer but I think this is going to be the way I do it from now on. Um, I don't know. You guys can tell me what you think. But I think this looks nicer this way. It looks more finished. Um, so 
so I'm just putting in all these little lines here and there. I'm not all of them, but you get the idea that you can see brick all the way down. And uh, it seems to work pretty well. I'm barely touching with my pen, just lightly giving giving a uh, line. I want it darker in the edges here, and then even maybe some shading that I'll put in afterward. So this is going to take me a little bit, a little while to finish. I'm just going to go ahead and do it uh, in time lapse, but I wanted to show you exactly what I was doing in case you were curious as to how I do it. I usually get the comments afterward, how did you do this? or what did you use here or whatever? So just wanted you guys to see it. And I'll probably do this in the sketch that I do for my friend. He had seen that sketch that I did in the lay flat notebook, that Denick notebook, the one of the lighthouse, the real quick. It was just like a five, 10 minute sketch and he wanted it. And so I told him, well, I'll do another one for you. and. Let me know if there's a special lighthouse, and he has a cottage near this lighthouse, so uh, in Upper Michigan, in the Upper Peninsula. So I told him I would do it for him. He's somebody I grew up with. We grew up in the same neighborhood. Went to school together. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then um, I'm going to move on to the other portion. Make sure when you're going around the corner here, notice I'm going down on an angle um, so that I get the illusion of the correct perspective going around that corner. Um, remember, whenever you're looking above your eye level, your back corner will come down. When you look below your eye level, your back corner comes up. <laughs>
darker colors on the trees and letting them dribble. Um, excuse my dog, he found a chipmunk out here um, and he's barking at it. <laughs> I'm going in with my pen and just kind of going around it to kind of add some more sketching in like uh, tufts of branches, you know what I mean? Um, It just adds a little bit, I think. Plus, some of the black pen gets covered up. I'm just using uh, the marker today, not for any particular reason, just that um, my other pens were getting low on ink. And I didn't go and fill them, so. Oh, that poor chipmunk is getting tortured. He's in my gutter. I can hear it squeaking. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and redo this on regular watercolor paper. And um, that way I can give it to my friend. But this was a lot easier sketch than I thought it would be. This bench is green and... But it's not that g color green, so I'm going to add some blue to it. Okay. Uh oh, I got to go save that. Channel. Okay, so this is it for my sketch, everyone. Let me get this out of the way so that you don't have a line over the sketch. But um, this is it. You can see if you come in close that my lines are still there. They're harder to see with the camera, but, um, but they're still there. So uh, this is the Big Bay Lighthouse on Lake Superior up in Marquette, Michigan. And um, I'm going to redo it on regular watercolor paper to give to my friend. And hopefully he'll like it. He said that he wanted to hang a lighthouse in his cottage, so I asked him which one, and this is the one that he chose because it's near his cottage. So, And it has meaning for him. So anyway, um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Get out there and sketch, you know. I know some of you are getting intimidated about sketching out in public, and um, I, I understand that. There are ways to get around it. Um, what I did when I first started out was to sketch in my car while I was sitting in my car. Um, that was a little less intimidating because people were less likely to come up to me while I was in my car. Sometimes I'd get a few stares because people were afraid I was staking out their house or something, I think. But, <laughs> but anyway, after I did that, then I was able to get out and just sketch like sitting in a park and people would walk by maybe 20 feet away and they wouldn't come up and ask about it but occasionally people come up and ask but they're really just intrigued and they're not being judgmental um, they really they're really just interested in what you're doing so um, don't let that intimidate you and don't be afraid to get your paint in your sketchbook as I was telling somebody else the other day um, your blank sketchbooks aren't precious you know they're not anything they're just a blank sketchbook everybody has those but once you put paint to them and you add your sketches in them that's when they become they come alive so go ahead and put some marks on those pages and remember they're just for you they're not meant to be precious paintings or anything like that they're just your sketches your feelings your your day-to-day -day sights 
and they're kind of a visual diary of what your life is all about. So um, just sketch whatever. And if you don't have time, just do it. Uh, uh, do a 10 minute sketch on your lunch break at work or or whatever, you know, or in the evening when you come home. It doesn't take a lot. And those daily sketches, if you get in the habit of doing it daily, you're going to continue to improve. And we all have good ones. We all have bad ones. So don't let that stop you. Um, some are going to be better than others. But just get out there and do it and develop your own style. You might want to pick up other people's ideas. Like I really liked this, um, putting the brick lines in this way. Uh, and I think I'm going to stick with that. I think it looks a little bit nicer. That's just my feeling for me. But everybody's style is different. And as far as people go, you can see my people aren't very good. Um, they're not good at all. But by adding them into the sketch, that changed the sketch totally. And I really need to go back and add more tents in the background and more heads more people walking around, which is what I'm going to do on this sketch eventually. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it. But but um, everybody remember to have a great day. Be courageous. Paint with wild abandon. And most of all, be kind to each other. God bless you. Bye-bye.